Let's take a look at how to configure iCloud on your iPod Touch, iPhone, or whatever. You do that by going into the Settings app. And you may not even have to. You may have set this up initially when you were configuring your iPod Touch from the start. If you turned it on and didn't connect it to a computer or anything, you were probably asked a few questions, like what's your Apple ID, and asked to enter that and turn on iCloud and turn on iCloud services. So if you did that already, you don't have to do anything at all. However, if you didn't and you just upgraded, then you need to go to iCloud the iCloud section in your settings app. And you will see not any of this really, but uh, you're an account option and then you can go in, and you click on the account and you can go in ahead and enter your Apple ID and your password and I guess apparently a description. I don't know why that's there. And if you want to add more storage, you get five gigabytes for free. But if you want to add more, that five gigabytes is always there, so you can buy 10 gigabytes for a total of 15, 20 for a 20, uh, total of 25, and 50 for a total of 55. Um, anywhere between 200, two, uh, sorry, 20 and 100 dollars a year. So if you want that, you can get it. If you don't, don't do anything. Um, anyway. Once that's all set up, you'll be able to turn on and off different services. By default, you'll be syncing everything and finding your iPod and so on. Um, so go ahead and turn on all the things that you want to sync via iCloud. This is basically like push uh, that you were used to on MobileMe if you used that before. Um, and now you have more services and supposedly it works better. And then you'll see down here storage and backup. If you want to back up to iCloud, if you want to back up your, your iDevice, your iPod Touch, or your iPhone, or your iPad to iCloud, then you can go ahead and turn this on or off. Um, and you may need more storage. You can also see how much storage you're using, and then Manage will take you um, to your actual iCloud storage usage. And you can see I have two devices on here, and I'm almost full. So that's how you can find out that information. But basically, that's how you turn it on. Really easy to do. So you can get set up and working with iCloud right away.